Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is multi capsule trace by channel? Let's go ahead and look at the note itself, and it's pretty simple. It's going to look like our normal capsule trace by channel, except it's going to return back an array. Now, there is a couple things to note here. Now, it says that it's going to return all hits encountered up to and including the first blocking hit. You might be thinking to yourself, okay, so this is going to give me back everything it hits until it goes from the start to the end. And, unfortunately, that's not true. Let me show you that. I am going to trace against the visibility channel. And it's going to be our third example here. And right now it's hitting this top left sphere. Once it hits that, it's done. And it's going to return that back as a result. If I walk in front of it, well now it's me that it's hitting, my nose to be specific. And it's done. It will no longer continue or return back any more hits. Well if this is the multi-trace by channel, why are we only getting back one hit? Well, when you get a hit on a line trace, it's basically going to end it. It's the other versions that count. When you have your collision responses, not only do you have blocking, which is our hit, you have overlap and ignore. Overlap is what we care about here. If I go ahead and change my trace channel to custom trace channel and I hit play, we're going to see a different result. We're going to have four returns. We're going to see three there and then technically back here we see another one. And if I go ahead and go into it, we're actually going to see seven. We're going to see three more. The different parts of me are responding. I have the um, nose, I have the body, and then I have my collision on the outside, my capsule, my collision capsule on the player. So we have seven results. Why is that? Well, if we go to our hit result actor, this is our little guy with our little return things. That top one blocked earlier, and we'll notice we had visibility used and we blocked the visibility. It stopped it. But now we have custom trace channel. Let's move this over so we can see it better. We have custom trace channel and it's set to overlap. Well, since we're not blocking our line trace, it's going to go ahead and take and add the overlapped line trace hit into our array. Then it's going to proceed and hit this one and it's going to hit this one since none of these are set to blocking. So that is basically what you would use your multi-traces for. In this case, we're going to fire off our capsule trace. It's going to look for anything along this trace channel, which is my custom trace channel for this example. And it's going to keep going until it gets a hit, or a stop, or a block. Once it does, it's going to return back everything, which is why we have a length of 4 or 7, depending on if I'm standing in front of it, as an array of hit results. And just like a normal hit result, we can go ahead and get all of our information and do whatever we want with it. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and get the first hit result and return back the result. And I'm still printing out the total. Let's plug this in. Hit play. And we're now hitting the sphere. And if you notice, if I go in front of it, now we're hitting my collision cylinder on my character. Or we hit the sphere, or we hit the nose, because the nose technically sticks out. And that's pretty much it. The multi-capsule trace by channel is going to be the same as the regular capsule trace by channel. However, we are going to have anything that does not block, so our overlap results, return back as part of an array of hit results that we can then do whatever we want with. You could pull them out and get, you can get the length, you can do whatever you want, but it's going to return back everything. Now this might be useful if you want to get back more than one thing. For example, you're going to fire a rocket up in the air. Then you want to see if our blast radius, or not necessarily a blast radius, but um, the trail behind us is going to hit anything. And we fire it off, we fire it in a certain direction, we're going to use our capsule trace to determine the size of it, and then we want to have anything that could be damaged by it to return back. So we might want to trace against a custom channel called damageable, or something like that where it simply overlaps for tracing purposes, it doesn't actually block, and allow you to get back all the results. That is going to wrap up our multi-capsule trace by channel node.